Hi, my name is John. I'm a Cloud Alliance architect from Checkpoint. This is a quick video on how to configure Checkpoint CSPM and Microsoft Teams. What is Cloud Guard CSPM and Microsoft Teams? Cloud Guard CSPM automates governance across multi-cloud environments. It helps you to detect misconfigurations, enforcement of security best practices, and making sure your cloud environments are adhering to industry compliance frameworks. Microsoft Team is a collaboration tool that helps your team stay organized and have conversations all in one place. You can chat, make video calls, set up team meetings, share files, collaborate those files with your team, and schedule meetings. Those are just some of the major features that you can do with Microsoft Teams, and there are a lot more to it. Now, and the piece that we're going to focus on today is the Microsoft uh, Teams channel. Now, why is this integration important to you? This is useful for security administrators, SOC analysts, and DevOps teams because it helps you to monitor your cloud environments all within Microsoft Teams channel so that you can quickly resolve those issues. Now, having this capability really helps you to consolidate your collaboration efforts all within Microsoft Teams. Now, how does it work? This connector runs as an Azure function and provides a webhook URL for Cloud Guard to send alerts to. This provides simple connectivity to Microsoft Teams as it sends alert information as cards into a Teams channel. The flow is Cloud Guard CSPM will continuously monitor your cloud workloads. You can have workloads in Azure, AWS, GCP, Kubernetes clusters, and even serverless apps such as Azure Functions and Lambda Functions. CSPM will continuously monitor those assets, and when it detects a misconfiguration, it will send the alerts via a notification policy to the Azure function webhook. From there, it will normalize the event into a card and then sends the event into Microsoft Teams channel for you to consume. There is no delay in this process, so you get the notification in real time. Next, I'm going to show you how to configure this. First, we're going to create a webhook for your Teams channel. This is the Teams channel where you and your team is going to consume events from CSPM. Then we're going to deploy and configure the Azure function. This is what will connect CSPM and your Teams channel together. Now, don't forget to capture the webhook for both the Teams channel and also the Azure function as well, because we're going to need this information later on in the configuration. Lastly, we're going to configure the CSPM notification policy to send events to Microsoft Teams. For more information on the Teams connector, please refer to the following GitHub page. All right, let's get started. Select the Teams channel. Under General, select Connectors, Incoming Webhooks, and then give the webhook a name, click Create, and copy and save the webhook URL for later use. Now that we have our webhook for Teams channel, next we're going to deploy the Azure function from our GitHub page. Fill in the deployment details. Paste the Teams webhook URL from the previous step here. Click Review and Create. Wait for the deployment to complete. Next, we'll deploy the function. To deploy the function, we will clone this repo. CD into repo directory. Initialize function. This is written in Python, so we'll select 3. Next, we'll publish the function. Make sure you put in the correct function name from previous step. You need to issue the az login command if you're not authenticated already. Once publish is complete, we will need to copy the function URL for next step. Next, we'll configure the CSPM notification policy. First, log in to CloudGuard CSPM. Select Posture Management from the left. Under Compliance Policies, we'll create a new PCI policy for my Azure account. Select the account and PCI policy. 
we'll add a new notification policy for Teams. Give it a name, and then enter the Azure function webhook URL here. You need to turn the authentication off. Test and make sure that the URL is accessible. Save. And save again. Since this is a new policy, I'm going to run an assessment to generate some new events. Once the first assessment is complete, I'm going to force the CSPM to send new events to Microsoft Teams channel. To force CSPM to send events to Teams, we go back to Posture Management, select the new PCI policy, send all alerts. Wait a few minutes and events will start showing up in your Teams channel. As you can see, we have CSPM events in Teams now. Each card represents an asset that is not in compliance. You see that I have a lot of work to do. And going forward, CSPM will only send you new events from this initial assessment. I hope you find this useful. I also want to take this opportunity to shout out to Chris for putting this integration together. Thank you.